Hello, my name is John Harford. I work at the Yale University Porvoo Center for Teaching and Learning. Today we will review how to enable waiting rooms for your Zoom meetings. Waiting rooms will allow you to restrict users from entering if they are not registered Yale students. You'll be able to control who's in and who's out of your waiting room uh, and review who uh, who might be a guest speaker to allow them in and any and leave out any unwanted or unknown users. Uh, students who are brought to a waiting room who have not logged into their Yale Zoom account will be asked to log in and then will be brought into the Zoom meetings soon after. But first, let's review how to enable waiting rooms for your account. First, you want to navigate to yale.zoom.us and sign in. Click on settings. And then scroll down to the waiting room option. It's pretty far down the page and you should find it. Um, under waiting room, you might find it switched off uh, by default. So just uh, throw this toggle on and you'll be given some options. So all participants would allow anyone to, that's joining your meeting to to pass through the waiting room into the meeting. You're probably after screening who is actually coming into your meeting and who is not. So guest participant only is the appropriate choice. You do have the option of having all of your attendees allow those guest participants to join. But if you as the host really want to control who's in and who's out of your meeting, uh, you'll want to uh, just leave it in this configuration. So in this case, again, uh, anyone logged in with a Yale account will join the meeting. Any external users who have not logged in will be left in the waiting room uh, for your review upon before joining. So now that you have this selected, you may need to save. Click Save, and we will now go to uh, Scheduling. Navigate to your Canvas course and go to the Zoom. Uh, tool on the left-hand nav and select Schedule Recording. You want to go through the same process that you usually go, do, whether it's a reoccurring me meeting or not, uh, and select your options. Uh, but in this case, we'll want to select a, the waiting room. Um, just make sure that check mark is selected and then hit Save. And now you have your Zoom room ready to go. I'm going to start this meeting and then I'm going to simulate what it might look like for you as the host. So we have a guest who is joining that meeting ID. Maybe they got it online or via an email. Okay, so this is good. We've, we've got uh, in our manage participants window, we see a guest is, uh, has entered the waiting room uh, for this uh, for this meeting. So let's see the waiting room here. We've got this guest here and um, there's no name on it. So uh, we don't know who that person is. We could remove it. Uh, if we knew that someone was coming and they didn't have an account, uh, we could admit them as well. So if I do that, then they are then brought into the meeting. Um, uh, if we're still unsure or we don't know who it is, we could remove them from the meeting altogether or we could put them back in the, the waiting room if we so wish. That is essentially the, the, the management of the waiting room. It's fairly easy and uh, it just allows you to know who's in and who's out of your meeting. And again, it will allow registered Yale students to join uh, automatically. And for more information, please reach out to Center at yale.edu or visit our website. Thanks.